How to deactivate, turn off, and reset the immobilizer in Volkswagen Plus Immobilizer Delete software. If you own a Volkswagen, you might have experienced problems with the immobilizer system. The immobilizer is a security feature designed to prevent your car from starting unless the correct key with a transponder chip is detected. This system is great for theft prevention, but it can cause trouble if you lose your key, replace your ECU, or modify your vehicle. In this video, I will explain how to deactivate, turn off, and reset the immobilizer in VW cars, and I'll also introduce VW Immobilizer Delete software, what it does, how it works, and what you should consider before using it. I've fixed dozens of immobilizer issues on Volkswagen models over the years, and the biggest mistake I see people make is jumping straight to deleting the immobilizer without checking these simple fixes I will show later on in this video. Now, before we get into deleting anything, there's one simple test you should try first, because if you skip it, your ECU might never start even after reprogramming, and we will get to the test in a bit, but first, let's look at what the VW immobilizer is, and why you might need to reset, deactivate, or delete it in the first place. The immobilizer in Volkswagen vehicles is an electronic security device that establishes communication between the key's transponder chip and the car's engine control unit. When you insert your key and turn it in the ignition, the immobilizer sends a coded signal. If the ECU recognizes the coded signal, it allows the engine to start. If it doesn't, the engine won't crank, preventing unauthorized use. You may need to reset or deactivate the immobilizer when replacing a faulty ECU, programming new keys, or repairing immobilizer faults. Some people also look for ways to disable the immobilizer completely using delete software, which removes the security check, often for racing or custom car projects. However, this option comes with legal and security risks, so it's important to understand what you're doing before proceeding. And I will show you how to do this soon, but it is very important you know how to diagnose immobilizer problems correctly before attempting any reset or delete process. And for this, some of the common warning signs of immobilizer problems you will notice are 1. Engine cranking but not starting 2. The immobilizer warning light flashing on the dashboard and 3. The car keys not being recognized by the ECU. Using a diagnostic scan tool with immobilizer functions, like the popular VCDS, can help read trouble codes from the ECU. You should look out for the following codes, which point to the exact problem area. For instance, code 17978 and P1570 show that the engine control module is locked, but the immobilizer is active. Code 01176 means, key signal is too low or the key is not authorized. Error code 17949 and P1531 code indicate that the immobilizer data is missing or is incorrect, and finally, code 01314 engine control module has no communication. Now that you know how to identify an immobilizer-related code, let's go back to that simple test I mentioned earlier, because this is the first thing you should try before touching any software. Now, before you start anything, here is a basic immobilizer reset procedure that might solve the issue in cases where you suspect that the immobilizer isn't recognizing your key. Insert the key into the ignition and turn it to the on position without starting the engine. Leave the key turned on for about 10 minutes. During this time, the immobilizer system attempts to communicate and learn the key's transponder chip. If the immobilizer warning light stops flashing or goes out, Turn the key off and then try starting the engine. If the engine starts, the reset was successful. If it still doesn't start, repeat the process using a different key if available. Using a diagnostic tool for immobilizer reset and programming. For more complex immobilizer issues, a diagnostic tool like VCDS is often required. Connect your diagnostic tool to the OBD2 port under the dashboard and open the software. Navigate to the Immobilizer or Security Control Module. This might be labeled 25 Immobilizer or 17 Instruments, depending on your VW model. From there, look for options such as Reset Immobilizer, Adaptation, or Program New Keys. Follow the prompts carefully. You might need to enter a security code or PIN, which is usually found in your vehicle's paperwork or can be obtained from a VW dealer. The tool will then allow you to reset the immobilizer or program new keys directly with the ECU, ensuring the system recognizes your keys again. Programming new keys. 
If resetting the immobilizer didn't work and you suspect the problem is with your keys, programming new keys is the next step. This process requires a diagnostic tool and access to the vehicle's immobilizer system. Start by inserting your original, working key into the ignition and turning it to the on position. Using the diagnostic tool, enter the key programming or adaptation mode. Then, follow the instructions to add new keys. Typically, this involves inserting each new key into the ignition and waiting for the ECU to learn the new transponder codes. Once programmed, test all keys to make sure they start the car properly. Always keep at least two working keys programmed to avoid immobilizer troubles in the future. What is VW Immobilizer Delete Software? VW Immobilizer Delete Software is a type of ECU tuning modification that completely removes the immobilizer security check from the ECU's programming. This means the ECU no longer communicates with the transponder chip in the key, so any key or ignition switch will allow the car to start. People often use immobilizer delete software in race cars or heavily modified vehicles where the original anti-theft system is not necessary. It also simplifies ECU swaps or tuning setups because you don't have to worry about key programming or immobilizer synchronization. However, disabling the immobilizer removes an important security feature. It can also void warranties, make your car illegal for road use in some areas, and increase the risk of theft. Always weigh the pros and cons before choosing this route. If you decide to proceed with immobilizer delete, here's how to delete the immobilizer in a Volkswagen ECU. Please note, this is for educational purposes only. Always verify local regulations before disabling and deleting any anti-theft system in your car. 1. Remove and read the ECU firmware. Disconnect the ECU from the vehicle. Connect it to an ECU programming tool such as KTAG, MPPS, or Galetto. Use the tool to read the full ECU firmware slash EEPROM and save a backup of the bin file. 2. Load the bin file into an editor. Open the file in WinOS, IMOOFF software, or Mi7 EEPROM editor, for Mi7 ECUs. Locate the immobilizer data section. The four most Mi7.x ECUs, this is usually in the EEPROM area or marked as the IMMO block. I look for the line that starts with IM or a string like F701. 3. Change the immobilizer value. Replace the immobilizer active value with the immobilizer off value. In many ECUs, save the modified file as a new bin file. 4. Flash the modified firmware back to the ECU. Using the same programmer, write the modified bin file back to the ECU. After flashing, reinstall the ECU into the vehicle and reconnect everything properly. 5. Test the start. Insert any key and try to start the engine. If the process worked correctly, the engine should start without the immobilizer light flashing or any security check being performed. Always keep the original firmware as a backup in case something goes wrong, the ECU may not boot, and you'll need the original file to recover it. Risks and Legal Considerations It's important to understand the risks before deactivating or deleting your immobilizer. Removing this anti-theft device increases your vehicle's vulnerability to theft. It may also be illegal in your country or state, resulting in failed vehicle inspections or registration issues. Additionally, if you have a warranty on your vehicle, immobilizer deletion may void it. The process itself, if done incorrectly, can brick your ECU or cause starting problems. Because of these risks, many people choose to reset or repair their immobilizer system rather than deleting it completely. In summary, Volkswagen's immobilizer is a vital security system that can cause frustration if malfunctioning. Simple resets can be done by leaving the key in the on position, but for most cases, a diagnostic tool like VCDS is essential for resetting or programming keys. Immobilizer delete software exists but should be used cautiously, understanding the security and legal implications. Knowing how to diagnose, reset, program, or safely disable your VW immobilizer can save you from being stranded or spending unnecessary money at the dealership. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and comment with your questions. Thanks for watching.